Welcome everybody to uh, the latest Zoom. As you can, uh, as you will no doubt see very shortly, we are joined by a man uh, in unfamiliar surroundings, uh, back in his own country. Despite rumours of the contrary, uh, John Mullins hasn't managed to get him deported. Um, <laughs> Robert, <laughs> how's things? Hi, <laughs> everything's good, Floyd. Everything's really good. We've just decided to come back home for three or four days. We're up here to Friday morning, just having a wee break and see the grandkids, we hadn't been able to get out and about and see them for a, about 15, 18 months or something, so it's great to get back up here, but what's really special is how warm it is up here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being back down in Kent, you know what I mean? So it's not usually as good as this up here, but hey, we're loving it just now. Uh, you, you, you jocks can't do the sun, can you? you... Uh, uh, we struggle, we struggle sometimes, <laughs> but listen... If, if Mullins gets his way, don't worry, I'll be back home. <laughs> oh no, he's he's up there, he's up there trying to add another few feet on that wall. I promise you. He says <laughs> you're not coming back. <laughs> I would miss me. He would miss me. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I've got to start and ask because uh, I've, I've spoken to Patrick. Um, obviously, talking about toaster, I've asked a few trainers about toaster. We haven't spoken since the Derby final, and it's only just over a week ago. Uh, what did you make of the night? What did you make of the track? What did you make of everything up there? Floyd, you know I've been a great admirer of the place. Even when Lord Heskey had it, I, I thought, anybody that wants to go out and spend their own money and build a track, I've, got, I, I've always got the greatest respect for them. And when it closed, I, feel, I, I feared the worst. You know that, Floyd. We spoke a few times about it. And then when Big Kevin turned it over, well... We had a lot of telephone calls about Towster and Kevin Booth being what he was trying to do with the place and that. And we, we, me and you were speaking a lot about it and we, we were kind of hoping it was going to be the derby that we were, we were hoping for. And to be truthful with you, Floyd, I thought, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I, I mean, I had my grandkids down, I had my son down, my, his wife down. And they're not really into greyhounds, they're into it, but they watch everything I do and all the rest of it, they watch all our dogs and all the rest of it fly, but they're not really massively into it. But by God, they loved it, even the grandkids, they loved every minute of it, because there was some for them, you know what I mean? There were girls walking about in big, they, they big sticks and there were they, they, they dancers there and the singers and even the grandkids were up singing and all the rest of it. I mean, it was, and, and to think, that that's the first time that Big Kevin's done it. Well, Floyd, you know I was a lovely Wimbledon and all the rest of it, but even they never put in a show like that. That was just fantastic what I witnessed up there. Floyd, it was out of this world. I, 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 listen, it's got, to, it's got to be, it's got the right place, it's, it gives everybody a buzz. I never heard one complaint, Floyd, you know what I mean? Even when I was here in Derby final night, I was talking to everybody and, it was great to see some old faces. It was great to see a crowd. And I I mean, listen, when I walked off the track, even with Beyonce, you'd have thought I'd won the derby. I, I was playing right up to the crowd and I thought it was brilliant. You know what I mean? It was just everything I thought it was going to be. And I can see the big man where he's going in the future. And I've got my fingers crossed. And I'm, I'm hoping that every day sees sense, Floyd, because we're not talking like this because we've got anything against the other places. We're not talking like this because we don't want it here or we don't want it there. But let me tell you something. Us as trainers, my owners, my owners come back home on the Sunday. They were up for the Friday. My owners come back home for the Sunday. And they loved every minute at Floyd. You know what I mean? And listen, they, they, they put as much into the game as any of them. You know what I mean? And I've listened to the interviews with Keith Allsop, who's just come back into the game and he's got a couple of owners here. Now, I, I, listen, I, I've known Keith for years. And to watch these boys' faces while they're doing interviews, that's where you get it all from, Floyd. You know what I mean? Never mind uh, stories of this or stories of that. But you've, what, you've, what I've always found out in life, there's nothing like watching somebody's face when they're talking about something. And that tells you whether they're really making up a story or whether they're really into it. And you look at all the boys that you've you've spoke to, because I watch all your Zoom calls and all the rest of it, and you can actually tell by the expression in their face and everything, Floyd, you can see it. 
it's it's coming out in them. You know what I mean? You must see that way. It's actually coming out in them. And you can see the delight coming out in them. And it, as I said, and I even spoke to Big John, and I speak to other trainers and all the rest of it, Floyd, I loved having a winner up there, and a couple of winners. But to be true for you, if I didn't have a winner, I wouldn't have been disappointed. You know what I mean? Probably a wee bit on the downside, but it was just magical. That's the only word I've got for it, magical. And I, 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 I've got to say, this big man needs as much help as he can. I'm hoping everybody gets behind him. I know everybody is behind him, but I mean the powers to be. I think they need to start. If he's willing to pay out the money and get tracks open, I think he's needing to get the help that he deserves, especially for the likes of Oxford. Jesus, God, Floyd, he's bringing it back for the ashes. Now, if the GBGB and these people that are running this industry can't help this man out by a bit of funding or something, then there's, surely there's got to be something wrong with this game because I don't know how much money Wimbledon got as grants and all the rest of it. I don't know how much money Nottingham and all these tracks got as grants, but all these tracks have been sold. And I would like to know, Floyd, how much money get given back to the GBGB, right? Well, these were tracks that was already open and we all knew the likes of Wimbledon, we knew it was closing. But this man's trying to build up a track. He's bringing it back for the ashes. So I just feel as if I think it's about time they brought... The, I, don't, I don't know what kind of rules it is in that, Floyd, but I think they need to try and help the man out. I think he deserves some help. Yeah, I, I, I thought uh, you actually told a story, <coughs> excuse me, a story that I'll just repeat briefly, which I thought was a great story, where you said when you saw Seamus Cahill on the night and although you wanted to beat him, you, you kind of... You, you, could, you could stomach being beat because you wanted to see so many big kennels and big trainers and, 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 and good guys in the industry actually have a winner on the night? Floyd, it's, it's a night on the night. Now, I'd already had my first winner and see after I got my first winner, Floyd. That was it. I, I, listen, I'd done my bit. I was in heaven. Changing on the outside into the third turn. It's the five just stabbed the brakes there as Queen Beyonce runs right on by. Mace Tissel Crack is finishing like a train. But it's Queen Beyonce to the left, to the left. She's doing it for all the single ladies. And Queen... Um, honestly, God, Floyd, when I walked off in that crowd, I thought the roof was coming off the place and it tamed me back and I thought, this is out of this world. Now, with King Louis... Seamus beat me, and he beat me, listen, he beat me fair and square. But I, I, I could hear Seamus giving a wee bit of shouting. It's not very often you hear him. You, you don't usually hear him. She's looking for this seven, Tyler. She has a length lead. King Louis is bearing down as they swing off the last bend. It's Pocky Lola with King Louis lunging late, but won't get there. Pocky Lola, let's hold on. And I walked over, and I gave him a wee bit of cuddle, and I says, well done, Seamus. I says, I'm so happy to see you winning a race. And they looked at me and I said, don't worry about it, Shavis. I, I, I still want to beat you. But it's a night, it is a night, Floyd, that you want to see every day <clears throat> getting that wee win. You know what I mean? It's, it doesn't it just belong to <laughs> the, all, the, all, all the trainers, the, the rabbitneers of this world and the Seamus Carls and all the rest of it. it doesn't, it's great to see, like, if there were 12 races on Floyd, it would be nice to see 12 different... If there were 20 races on, it would be nice to see 20 winners. You know what I mean? It, it means there's 20 people there, 20 trainers, feeling the same way I did in the first race and feeling... And 20 sets of owners all feeling, getting that buzz. And if they could all get it, Floyd, it's, it can only be good for the game. You know what I mean? So I, 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 I thought it was brilliant. I thought I was so happy. Like, after the first race, I was so happy, Floyd. I had done a job, I had done my bitch, my bitch came out and won and won good. And and even Donna, Kevin's partner, she went, she came over and cut out the wee bitch, you know what I mean? Because everybody knew how good she was and how what happened and how long she'd been off. And even Donna didn't even mind, Donna didn't even mind getting beat with her, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I think that's the place that all brought that tears or you know what I mean, Floyd? I think yeah. Kevin Hutton and that would have loved to win the race. But it was a night that if it's if it's possible, Floyd, that you didn't mind getting beat. You know what I mean? Because you were still enjoying the occasion. <clears throat> the occasion was so great.
even Big Devon got a winner that night. You know what I mean? And, yeah. And it's so well deserved. I was so glad to see him getting a winner. Okay, every time you got a winner, you've got five losers. But listen, we just got to hope it gets bigger and better. Because I, I can Listen, we've spoke about it, and I think even you and me, what we spoke about before they even got the derby and all the rest at Floyd, and the way we spoke about things and what we were hoping to see happening in the game at Towster, I think it went beyond that. You know what I mean? I think it went above and beyond that for what we even we were expecting. But it was was it no great to hear the crowd? I mean, it was fantastic. It was, it was. I mean, funnily enough, even people like, um, we talked about the trainers, but I mean, Young is owner, the Champagne Club. I mean, those people put so much into, into dog racing. They support it. They were out there in the big numbers in the marquee. And it was brilliant to see Young and his owners have, have a couple of winners on the night. Listen, I, I, I think Brendan come home and he said that he had, he had a right good bet in Youngie's dog. He says, because there's one thing about Youngie, he goes for a winning derby final night. He's yeah. like, I oh, they like to put on a show in Derby final night. Now, the likes of Youngies and Steve Fluin and the Champagne Club, how can them to say they don't deserve a winner? Look at the money they put, and they get in there and they, they, they take over the full marquee and everything, Floyd. Now, that's no cheap. So you have got to take your hat off, and it's, it's great for the likes of Youngie and Seamus and Patrick and even Kevin Bisbell. Look at him. Kevin Bisbell was one of the biggest owners in the, the game, Kim, I mean, with the amount of dogs he's got. So... It's great for all these boys uh, to get winners, and that's what I'm saying. Floyd, after I had my first winner, I was in the key, and I, I enjoyed myself. I was, I was really... But I fell in love with the place a long, long time ago. You know that, and I know yeah. that. I fell in love with the place after Wimbledon closed because I feel as if it's what we need. And I think when they... Listen, they do need to listen to us. Yeah. They're, they're Mark Bird and all the rest of it, they do need to listen to us. And I don't like this idea, uh, Daniel coming on the TV and saying it's not a Derby track. Daniel's need to bother about his own track. He's entitled to his opinion though, Rap. Yeah, listen, everybody's entitled to his opinion. But let's not just start slagging people off and slagging tracks off. Let's help them. You yeah. know what I mean? But, but everybody needs help in this position. Just the same as Daniel and Hove and... Uh, Ian Smythe and all the rest of it Ian needs his help he needs your dogs and this is yeah. one thing they need to realise they need your greyhounds to keep their tracks going so let us know any bickering about what's this and what's that now, every day listen if, 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 we did say a wee years ago a couple of years ago when I went away from Wimbledon the Derby show I probably went to Hove because Hove was my favourite track yeah. it was a beautiful big stadium so Let's just keep things in house and let's keep everything great. I thought the injury rate was brilliant at Towster. I thought it was very, very low for running the amount of fast greyhounds that went around the place. I thought they run the bends great. I thought everything about the place was absolutely top class, Floyd. So I would like to just see things coming together and and helping everybody out. You know what I mean? Because I think the industry is in such a state. That if we don't start helping one another out here, don't be kidding, Floyd. If Towster goes, and let me tell you this right now, if Towster goes, don't worry about it. There's not many of them going to survive. Not, not at all. I just before I before I switch subjects, I just want to I just wanted to double check. Hopefully, if I can produce something on screen, it was just something that occurred to me. I wasn't sure whether or not you were actually the third the third Boothby brother. I don't know if you can see that. I think no, it's, it's, no. I, I can I, I can picture you you'd you'd, you'd be the, you'd be the little you'd be the little shit that would uh, that would cause all the trouble and get your big brothers in, wouldn't you? Would that not be the wee mini me? I'll be the I'll be the wee mini me sitting beside the side two big boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, listen. Yeah, 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 Floyd, I can't say, but you'll never get me saying anything bad about him anyway, because even when he was running Henlow, and let's not be kidded, we all know that Henlow was struggling until yeah. the, the boys stepped in and gave them the boost that they needed. We all know Kevin was putting every last penny they had into the game, 
Yeah. And that's the dedication that he's got to the game, you know what I mean? So yeah. But let, 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 let's just hope that everything goes well, Floyd, that they see common sense and that everything goes to plan.